Hey guys, today I'm filming another Hit It or Quit It Thoughts on Hauls. If you've never seen one of these videos from me before, I will have my playlist linked down below. And basically I'm going to be reviewing everything I featured in a haul video a year ago to let you know my current thoughts on those products. Last year I had a makeup rehab series, so I restructured the way that I do my monthly hauls. They're empties, hauls, PR, all together. And at the beginning of the year I did a really good job not buying too much stuff. So the first half of the year, these thoughts on hauls are going to be a little bit smaller, except for the ones around the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty and the Sephora VIB sale. But I only have a couple of purchases, but I do have some makeup PR that I wanted to update you on as well. I will have everything listed down below and I will link the original video. So if you're curious about the deals for all of the products, which you're probably not at this point, but if you are, you can check out the haul. So jumping in, first as my congratulations, you're a diamond gift. There were a couple of different options. They weren't very good at the time, but they had my Holy Grail Dry Bar Detox Dry Shampoo, which is awesome because this was included in a Ulta hair event at the end of 2023, which is great. But usually even when they have the dry shampoo day, this is not included or the discount isn't as high as some of the other products. And this is a very expensive dry shampoo, but it's amazing. It soaks up all of the oil and it gives my hair some volume and it has a pretty strong scent, but it smells good. I really enjoy it. So I have several backups of this now. So this was a great thing to get as my diamond gift. Then from the skincare event at the of the year they had the Kopari tripeptide lip cloud and I always am interested in trying new lip balms it was half off and I used a gift card on it and let me tell you I wish I didn't get this this is going to be or it already is in my year-long makeup project pan which I will link if you guys are interested to see what else I want to pan this year but I made a little progress but I don't recommend this to anybody it is very thin on the lips like it feels like a little bit oily but at the same time you almost feel like little grainy bits in here it's super weird it's not supposed to be exfoliating i don't know what properties are in here that makes it feel that way but it does appear super quickly it almost makes my lips feel a little bit more dry and i just want to dedicate myself to using it up i don't want to pass this on to somebody else because i don't think it's a good product so this is like terrible I don't recommend it I have tried their original lip glossies and they're much better so just don't don't get that something I absolutely love though is the persona eyeliner this is in the shade plum it is so stunning it's a great matte shade it's a beautiful plum you can tell it's purple but it's not bright it is a true plum color it's very wearable i absolutely love this for deepening the lash line persona did just launch three new liner shades i cannot wait for them to come to ulta because i want to get two of the three but they have a great formula and this is a pretty shade and i'm glad they added more i would love to see some more fun colors from her so far everything's been pretty neutral but this is amazing it is like a holy grail product of mine and then the last thing i purchased would be from the clinique website they had buy one get one free of their take the day off cleansing balm you guys know this is a holy grail of mine and the video was coming in february i had too many things coming up in january that i had to bump it back but i buy this a couple times a year from ulta when it goes half off and it did not go half off during the skincare event where I got this like I expected it to I didn't have any more was really stressed so I got this two pack from Clinique they had free shipping and I decided that I wanted to be on a journey of testing affordable cleansing balms hoping to find an alternative because I'm not going to buy this for any less of a discount than half off so I got two of these I've used up at least one of them if not the second one it's a holy grail of mine still I've tried a lot of other affordable ones that I really enjoy but this one just has like a little bit of an edge on the others and that did come with two deluxe size samples as a free gift the almost lipstick and black honey I pass it on it's just not my color or my type of formula it is a sheer lip color but it's not like super glossy shiny like the other more popular ones are right now so it's just not my thing i passed it on and then i also got this mini of the take the day off charcoal cleansing balm i was excited to try this because travel size so that's amazing and the charcoal one is new i just used this up so you will see it as an empty in my next non-makeup project pan update 
but I don't like this. So the quality is the same. I think charcoal products are a gimmick. My face just looked gray and there's a smell to this. And again, I got this a year ago. It's not old. It is not expired. It smelled like this since I got it. It has a 24 month shelf life. Blech. Like, you know how sometimes skincare products are supposed to be non-scented and it comes across like Play-Doh plastic? That is the experience I had with the Skin Proud cleansing balm and that's what this one smells like. So I will not be getting this again. I'm gonna stick with my original and luckily I've been able to get some travel sizes of that as well. Happy to try it, but absolutely not. So then I had gotten two different packages from Tower 28, which is really exciting. It was my first time getting PR from them and they sent me their concealer and then they just sent me their holiday set. So I've gotten some like random sporadic launches from them, which is amazing. I'm so appreciative. I never expected to get anything else, but this is what was in their welcome package. When they sent me something to fill out, I could pick between two different ones and I chose this one. So it came with the cream blush in Magic Hour, the cream bronzer in West Coast. This is their Bronzino, which is a shimmery one, a little mini of their Make Waves mascara, one of their regular lip jellies in XOXO, a milky jelly in pistachio, and their one liner in the color Fill Me In. I think it was this one. And I was just so excited for this. So I already have Magic Hour, so I had put this in my giveaway pile. And this is a cream blush that stays pretty dewy which is not my most favorite. I do prefer a cream to powder blush, but I don't feel like this was so sticky that my hair was sticking to my face throughout the day. I think it wore just fine. Not my favorite cream blush overall. I don't think I would buy any more shades, but I do think this is a really pretty color and is a pretty easy to use formula for the most part. It does not apply the easiest over powder. You have to be like really meticulous with the way that you're applying it and not do too much buffing. So this is best on a non set face. Then we've got the cream bronzer, again, also best on a non-set face. I think this blended really nicely. This does have some shimmer to it, but I don't think it looked necessarily like shimmery or glittery on my face. It looked really nice. This is a warmer color. They have several shades, but this I think is like the perfect tone for me. So I really do enjoy this. I'm happy to have that. and I'll probably use it a bit more during spring. I like their Sculptino, which is the one without shimmer. I like that one a little bit better, but that one is still really good and really fun to have. I have not tried the Make Waves mascara yet. I really want to, but I use my mascara's oldest to newest. So this is coming up and they did just release a brown shade in Drift that I did want to buy, but amazingly, Kelly Gooch posted a swatch in her hand of a couple different brown mascaras and I'm wanting a true brown and the new e.l.f. mascara looks like more of a true warm brown so I'll probably get that one instead but I am really excited to try that. Then the regular lip jelly in XOXO. This is a beautiful like hot pinky red. I use this over the summer in my little reel slash TikTok I did of the popsicle lip look and you guys know I love this formula so this is fantastic a great way for me to be able to wear some sort of pop of color so really love that and then the milky lip jellies are my favorite glosses of all time they do have a light medium opacity they're super smooth they don't wear very long you will need to reapply but that's okay because they're not sticky they don't feel goopy as they wear off I love, love this color. It is a lighter, more muted pink, but it just looks so good and it does go nicely with this one liner in Fill Me In. I think it was Fill Me In. This is the lightest shade and I do like this. This is supposed to be something you can use on eyes, cheeks, and lips. I'm not gonna use something this small on my cheeks. It does blend out, it will work, but let's be honest, that's a bit of a gimmick. Like. I'd say go for these as lip liners, but for being a traditional wooden pencil, it is still very creamy and really nice. And this is a very pretty shade. And again, the two of those go together quite nicely. Then Tower 28 sent another package to celebrate the fact that their one liners 
were now in Sephora. They first launched just on their website and on Credo Beauty and then they sent three different milky lip jellies to go along with the liners. So I got Fill Me In again and Pistachio again. So I did set these aside for a giveaway. Then the middle shade is Work of Art. This is a beautiful like pinky tan color and the one that's supposed to go with that is Cashew which I absolutely love this. It's a great warm shade. And then the deepest color is Draw Me, which is a really nice deep brown and the gloss with it is Almond. I've not worn Almond on my lips yet. It scares me a little bit. It's a bit, almost feels like an olive brown to me, but I need to try it on. I think it will be beautiful. I have used this lip liner before and it was an intense look, of course, but it's really nice. I feel like this would look really good on deep skin tone. So love the formula of these. I would love to see them add more shades here. I know that now because of it being a multi-liner, it might make it more complicated to add shades, but I would love to see more like lip liner colors from this because it's a very nice formula and a really affordable price. And then lastly, I have two of the Kaja I'll have to put the name on the screen. They are Kaja's Glossy Stain, like the Rare Beauty one. And so we have got Peach Fizz and Fig Soda, I believe are the names of these. And they came out with six shades. I kept two past on the other one and I definitely did hand swatches. So I will have that picture for you guys but this is a really nice formula if you like that type of product and honestly I kind of wish I did not even buy the Rare Beauty ones and I have three of them I just got another one at the holidays I'm not buying any more it is like a pretty product it feels nice on the lips but I think I'm just more of like I'm gonna wear a bullet lipstick or a liquid lipstick or a lip gloss I'm not really like a hybrid product fan and I don't do lip stains very often so I think that these are very good if you are interested in that type of product but for me it's just something that I'm not really reaching for but I would love to give these another try. So guys, those are my thoughts on all of the things that I purchased a year ago and the makeup products that I received in PR. I hope this was helpful for you. I would love to hear your thoughts if you've tried these products in the comments down below. I wanna thank you all so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.